we just cashed a check and we got one of these. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. It's actually in fairly decent condition. Which is funny because a little boy got in trouble and sent to jail a while back for trying to pay for his school lunch with a $2 bill. Interesting that banks still give them out. But schools don't know that they're, uh, they're real money. Interesting. So, just watched the first episode of the, uh, the new DuckTales. It's alright, it's not too bad. The animation's a lot different, you know, from when we, when I was a kid. So they're, it, it's all, it's almost like an attempt to be a little more realistic, but while still being a cartoon, whereas the older ones were st really cartoony. I'm not sure if I'm a super fan of what they did with uh, Miss Beakley, which is the the maid. Um, she's <laughs> she's very like strict looking, whereas like in the original, she was just kind of like goofy. Um, the, the kids are all right. Webby's Webby's cool. She's not as like she's not as like young acting as she was in the original. Um, you don't see uh, Duckworth, which was his butler. I haven't seen him at all. And they're only showing like the first two episodes all day long. But you don't see Duckworth. Um, Donald's a little more um, prevalent in this one. Whereas in the original, he wasn't. And you haven't seen the guy who ends up playing uh, is it Gizmo Duck, the robot guy. I uh, haven't seen him yet. Launchpad's in it. He's not as fun as the original. Not as not as quirky. He's still kind of goofy, but he's not as quirky as the original. So I watched it. It was okay. I don't know. I'll wait, I'll wait and try and watch the third episode whenever it comes on. But uh, they showed a new preview for like Marvel Spider-Man that the Disney Channel's gonna do, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, no other shows that really interest me besides that one. Oh, I did see a preview for the Guardians of the Galaxy cartoon, and that looks pretty neat, but, eh, you know. Um, we went, uh, we went to the dump and took trash today, and then went and got Jordan's school supplies, Kristen needed some work supplies, and then we hit Winn-Dixie and I got some more pudding and jello and popsicles and um, lactose-free milk uh, and some Crystal Light. So, it's 2.10 right now and I'm, uh, I can definitely say I'm pretty hungry. I'm uh, probably going to drink a protein shake here soon. I've had pudding, a couple popsicles, and some Crystal Light. So, today's definitely harder than yesterday was. Uh, I stopped and got them something to eat on the way home. And so, the kid, Jordan's in the back seat like, mm, this this Whopper's really juicy and the bun's just got such a unique flavor. And I'm like, I got my head out the window trying not to breathe in the, the smell. So, well, that was pretty funny. Anyway, so... I'm gonna probably hop on the mower here. My grass needs mowed and weed eated and stuff like that. I don't know what else I'm gonna do today, but that's it. Just wanna tell you about the new the new DuckTales. Like I said, it was, it was pretty decent. Um, we did go to the place in Callahan that sells cars where you pay a down payment and then you pay $70 a week or 140 every two weeks. Uh, till it's paid off. They basically they want you to have it paid off within a, a year. They don't finance like they tell you the price and you pay off that price. So I think that's what we're gonna do with. We looked at a uh, Chevy Tahoe today, something that I can also drive right now and that Kristen can drive. Uh, it's like a thousand down and then it's like the total is like 3,900 after and plus taxes so you're talking about 1100 down that includes the switching of the tag and stuff like that and then I guess I don't know what we're gonna do with that car out there we're just gonna junk it and sell it or just hold on to it till Jordan's old enough to need a car I haven't decided but I don't know we'll see probably look at getting her getting a second car next weekend so I don't know I don't know 
but it's kind of good news because you know give it a year year and a half we pay that one off and then maybe I can find, have him find like a truck or something that we can put a down payment on and pay on it so we'll see I gotta um, yeah just gotta do all that so probably next week it will be looking at getting her car or at least a second car so fun stuff well it's that time of the week again actually it's probably a week overdue I'm gonna mow grass I uh, didn't have to mow the fields this weekend my uncle who lives uh, about 100 yards from us actually mowed fields so awesome Kevin if you're watching thanks man so it's yeah there it's not even that it's yeah that's a lot of land to mow it's the dodge in the branches because um the pine trees are like they're just tall enough that their lowest branches will whack you in the head if you're not paying attention so if you got whacked to the head ben i apologize i did carry a hatchet with me or my kukri with me last time i was chopping some of them down as i went by them so fun stuff all right time to go mow i got the uh little gopro wannabe strapped to my wrist so hopefully i'll get some decent footage it won't be so vibrate -y, like with the tractor but time to go get done when i tell you i live my life two steps forward eight steps back this is one of those moments so i was trying to mow grass and the handle on the zero turn broke so let me show you this so there's a bracket that holds the bar in there and that's how you accelerate yeah it's completely broken in fact this bar lifts right out well, it was lifting out but anyways yeah completely broken now i can't mow the grass can't drive a lawnmower because i can't make it go forward or back yeah yeah two forward eight back that's the way i live my life just uh, it's not one thing it's another Anyways, I guess this has got to go. I either got to find the part online to fix it or send it to the lower shop. Fun times. So I know I keep saying like two steps forward, eight steps back, and stuff like that. It, sometimes it seems like that. I get it. You know, that machine's old. <laughs> you know, it does a lot. It's a very heavy duty machine and it does a lot. It just. And I get that this is like wear and tear and like the brackets only it's like aluminum or something but it's just like I can't just you know I just I just want to got more grass you know it wouldn't be if it was if it's only like an acre or so pushing it, it wouldn't be such a big deal gonna push more and do it but it's like it's not just an acre it's probably three or four and it's like uphill downhill it's not even at all so it'd be a pain in the butt to push mow it i mean i could push mow it just right around the house but i don't know i get it I, I get that it's wear and tear and it happens to everybody but it just more or less seems to happen to me more often than not you know and i say that with the realization that i've mowed quite a few times this summer already and it nothing's nothing's gone wrong with that mower so it's just you know i can go stress eat some jello yeah yeah that's what i get to look forward to <laughs> i think that's part of it too i'm a little i'm a little grumpy because like i've you know i've had like jello and pudding and protein shakes and stuff like that but that just i just want to we're only two days in so just you know this I'm just I'm out of sorts but I think I'm gonna go in the house and play some video games with, the, uh, with Jordan or watch a movie with them and sulk in my my misery of not being able to mow the grass but I guess I can get the weed eater and do some weed eating you know <laughs> As long if the belt comes off of that or it breaks, man, I'm giving up. I'm I'm hiring a lawn service Monday to just come mow my portion. Nobody else has to pay the lawn man to mow the I'm if some the next day, ugh, if I try and weed eat tomorrow and it stops working, I'm calling the lawn service. I don't 
I'll call my buddy and pay him to come mow grass or something. It's just, this is ridiculous. <sighs> Hope you guys, this weekend's going a little bit better than mine. I mean, it wasn't terrible. We got up, did some things this morning, went and looked at a couple cars. I think maybe next week we're it with a Chevy Tahoe, depending on paychecks and bills and things like that. We'll see. We will see. Anyways, I'm, yeah, I'm getting out here for the night. I'm gonna just go chill out and relax and just for the rest of the night. Till tomorrow, guys.